Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is January 30th, and I've had Kingdom Hearts for a day, and I've got stitching in. So basically what we decided is that my husband and I would only play the game when we're together, so that means I have extra time for stitching. So because I don't pick him up from work until 6, I get to spend like 3 hours in the afternoon. So I'll probably get like a row done each day. Um, so I'm about three quarters of the way through, or I guess it's about halfway through the whole row of, um, row 111. So I did some of it yesterday, uh, and then I'm hopefully going to finish it up today before I have to go get him. So, life-wise, work is going better. Um, I didn't have, I only had three students show up today, so I was actually able to get caught up with everything pretty much that I had to at work. Um, I'm still behind on like one or two small things, but nothing really big. And we just bought a new car. So we actually bought a Tesla. It'll be interesting seeing if it's worth it or not. Um, mainly because my husband has to travel so far. The car, we were going to get an electric car anyway. And we decided that the car he wanted to get was already pretty expensive and so we figured since he just got a raise that can kind of be his present to himself for working so hard and basically he never really buys himself stuff very often so when he does of course it's big ticket items but he really did like with what I spent on cross stitch I can't say anything um, but that'll be his car, um, and it'll actually save us quite a bit of money in the long run with gas and all that. So that'll be coming on the 5th, which is great for me because it means no more having to pick him up from the train station. So even more stitchy time for me. Although I'm probably going to be super lazy now because now I don't have to get up again after I come home from work. So anyway, I'm not going to show you where I'm at quite yet since I'm like in the middle of the row. I will come back when this row is done or tomorrow, whichever happens first. So I will see you all later. Bye. Hey guys, it's February 1st. It is 7.30 in the morning. I had to drop my husband off early at the train station because he had a meeting today. So I have about an hour before I need to go back in. So I'm just enjoying my coffee. I may stitch a little bit, I'm not quite sure. Um, I finished row 112. Yes, 112, so um, I won't get a row finished before I have to go in, but I might get a little bit done. We'll see. I recently discovered we went to my mother-in-law's last night because we had a dentist appointment and realized that we had left a lot of some of our mugs over there. So we'd left her, I think we'd left like five there, and then we just grabbed our, our favorite ones. Um... So I got three more, I think, and he got one. And then we left some other cups and stuff for her, so. Yep, I got my uh, Disney chalkboard, never grow up, believe in magic, and the castle. So I'm happy about that. I actually bought a t-shirt that kind of matches it that I'll show you guys when we were in Disneyland, so. Um, I did open, I got my new, I decided to join the Color and Cotton uh, Thread of the Month. Um, I did have an issue with it, mainly I signed up for it on January 5th. Sorry, you guys are really shaky. Um, signed up for it January 5th. Then they charged me again at the end of January, right before they shipped. I emailed them saying, hey... I got double charged. I don't know like why, because I thought if you bought it earlier in the month, it just went toward the first payment or whatever. She said, yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to refund it. And then I got a, sh a shipment notification. Well, I looked first and she didn't refund it. So I emailed her back saying she didn't refund it. Like, but if she wanted to, she could just send me five different flosses because I got the five a month deal. And I never heard back, so I got two shipment notifications, 
and she basically just never refunded it. I got two of the same kind, two of the, two of the same pack. So I signed up for the all colors. Um, if it happens again, it's not like if, if it happens, it's not a big deal that it happened this time. If it happens again, I will be emailing her and trying to figure out what happened. So I think it's just a one-time thing. It just accidentally double charged. I guess they went to a new system or something. And so I hope nobody, she didn't refund somebody else's and nobody got theirs. So, but let me show you guys those. I realized I never actually hit record. So I just finished that whole clip. So here's the colors. We have vintage Valentine. So it's this like slightly variegated pinky dusty rose color. Then we have almond. Is this one almond? Yeah. Which is this cream. Not really any variegation in this. These are not showing up true to color. These are a little bit brighter on camera. This one is Cigaro. I think Cigaro Cactus. This is not as green in real life. It's basically just grays and taupes. But it is pretty variegated. You can kind of see it like these are supposed to be gray. I have no idea what colors are going to show up on your TV or computer screen or tablet screen. But, <clears throat> like I said, more grays and taupes, not really any green at all. This might be my favorite one. This is my least favorite. This is Tuscan Sun, just because I don't use a lot of gold in my stitching usually. <clears throat> This one doesn't have really any variegation. It's got some very, very slight, but it's really hard to see. And then this one is Lapis. And this one, same thing, doesn't really have any variegation in it. So to me, this one is more like the color of like, regu like if you had to think of like a regular denim jean color, this is what I would think of. In comparison, my jeans are really dark. The other set that I got, even though it's the same, it's not nearly as variegated in the colors, which I think is funny. So like if you compare, for instance, the reds. Whoops. Sorry, you guys get the floor. This is the old one, or this is the first one I showed you, and this is the second one. So, I mean, this does have variegation to it, but it doesn't seem like it's nearly as much. Like, it's a lot more of this dusty color than this, like, more pink. And you can see it in the... I don't know if I can get it out. In the taupey grays, too. Or in the, what is this one? Oh, yeah, Sagaro. So I am going to stay with it because really the only hand dyed threads I have are the ones that I have bought for um, the Sparkling Peacock mandala, the Chatelaine. Um, as you can see, I bought myself some candy. I have lost five pounds so far. We went to Cheesecake Factory last night, though, so that definitely didn't help, but I'll be back on it today. Yesterday was kind of a weird special occasion. We weren't home day. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I'll show you guys my needle minders I got too. So I ordered more minders from House of Ming. So I got the mini princesses of Aurora and Cinderella and I love that little pumpkin she's holding. Then I got the quote unquote regular version of Ariel and Tiana. 
There's not a ton of glare on these, so. And basically the only difference is that their dresses are longer. Then I got the regular version of Moana and Wendy. I don't have actual projects for these yet, but they were too cute to pass up. And I really like Wendy because of my husband's old role in Disneyland. Uh, so the only princess I'm missing, I believe, is Rapunzel. And she gets snatched up pretty quick, so... I do have another couple of minders on hold from House of Mang, who you can find on um, Instagram. But I need to, like, I think she's waiting until she posts another, like, until there's another Rapunzel that I can get. And then I'll buy them and she'll ship them out. They're pretty cheap, too. Like, each of those was, I think, like, three bucks, three or four bucks. But she's got a lot of other ones besides princesses, so go check her out. And here is where George Washington is now. So that's all I've got for you guys this morning. Um, didn't do any stitching or video gaming last night. Didn't do any video gaming the night before, so actually making some progress. So I will see you guys all next time. Hey guys. It is February 4th, it's Monday, and I've had a really bad day. Um, I basically got told that, so as you may know, I am currently a tutor and a teacher. I was a tutor for about a year, I got my credential, and then I started taking on students, and so I've been a teacher um, for the past year or so. Sorry, that's my cat's going out of, in and out of the garage. Um, so I took on some students, and I've been teaching now, as well as tutoring, for about a year. But I got told today that my teaching services are no longer required. And because I was hired as a tutor, we don't have enough students to have as many teachers at the site as we do. And so since I was hired as a tutor first, I needed to make that my only job so feeling very depressed um, I had a good cry mainly because I'm losing my students and I'm not I'll still see them as a tutor but now it kind of feels like I got my credential and I spent all that time in school for no reason and spent a lot of money f for nothing I could go teach at another school um, that still may be an option. I'm kind of waiting to see what happens when, because I know I told you guys about the fact that they were changing all of the teacher pay and everything at the end of the school year anyway, but I'm kind of waiting to see what happens with that. But it's kind of a kick in the gut. At first they gave me the option and I think they were just thinking like, oh yeah, she's going to choose tutoring because it's full time. But I'd be making about double what I'm making, or I'd be making the same amount of money basically right now if I taught, but I'd be working half the hours. So of course I was going to choose teaching because even though it's not full time, I mean I'd lose on some benefits and stuff, but it means I would get summers off, I would have to only come in 15 hours a week, so I'd have more time for stitching, but... Then they called me back. I, so then when I was talking to the regional vice principal, I basically said, like, yeah. Um, she's like, so I'm assuming you'd take tutoring, right? And I was like, actually, I think I'd take teaching because, you know, it pays twice as much. And so then she called me back. I, was still, I still had to think about it, obviously, because you got to figure out, you know, what makes the most sense. And she called me back a couple hours later and was like, so we basically made a decision for you. So since that's what you were hired to do, you're you're gonna have to be the tutor. Like, I know we gave you the option, but SOL. Um, basically, I think it's because we have a teacher coming back from maternity leave, and she lost all of her kids, so she gets mine because that's how that works apparently at my site. 
So, yeah. It will be less stress, but... And I don't know what's going to happen with summer because our kids don't come in over summer. So, two years ago I had a book club, which I'm not doing that again. That was way too much time for me to spend, like, planning stuff out. And most of those kids are no longer at the school. Um, and then I was a tutor and did some temporary, or not temporary, but, like, I took on the teaching role for summer school students for... Like, basically, they, they had too many students and not enough teachers for summer school. So I taught, like, I, I worked, like, nine-hour days or something and then worked, like, three of those were teaching and the rest were tutoring. I know they won't be able to do that, and I don't want to do that anyway. Um, and then last year I had quit tutoring because I thought I had enough students to make the switch, which I'm really mad now that I didn't stay with that. But So I'd quit worked I had already agreed to be the, the summer school tutor um or sorry summer school teacher last year but then all of my students left to go to other sites which is fine um so I decided to like tutor again basically but now we got this new management and everything it seems like has gone to shit so sorry for the bad language um Basically, that's just, and I know I keep playing with my hair ties, but it's kind of my fidget thing. But yeah, so that's basically where I'm at right now. I am back to being a full-time tutor and may need to think about teaching at another school. But honestly, the reason I became a teacher was because I liked how my school ran so well. Um, it was a really good option for everybody, but, and I don't think I could actually teach in a regular school. I don't have the teacher voice slash mommy voice slash whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm not good. I, I couldn't handle an actual classroom. I, I don't think, I don't think my skills are good enough to, to handle that. So I know it's something I'd probably learn with time, um, but honestly, don't really know if that's something I would even want to do. So I have some choices to make. I have to look at some options. I mean, I still have a job. Still happy about that. And it's a pretty good paying job. But not really for somebody who has a credential. And I did mention that because I... The chances are, since I'm currently, the way it works in California is you get a preliminary credential, and then you have five years to clear it, and it takes two years to clear it. So I'm currently about to clear one year of it, but since I'm not going to be able to do that next year, there's a good chance I could lose my credential. So... Hopefully I can at least last through the end of this year and get one year under my belt, but I don't know how that works with, like, if I'm going to lose it anyway, do I need to go back and do another year of clearing? I don't know. But the good news is that I did finish page two, or not page two, but like the second set of, second row of pages on George Washington. Um, of the 931. And so I'm currently on row... I think I'm, like, halfway through row 118. Yeah. I'm looking at it. It's over here. So 116 ended the, ended the page. I did 117 yesterday and then got partway through 118. But then I decided to go to bed because I was tired, so... Let me show you guys that. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen the 116 set of pages. And I will show you guys, so I've been lazy. There's my cat playing in the garage. <laughs> um, I did finally get all of my 
um, my flower banner thing done. So it's like doubled up on there. And I still have my Santa Claus hanging up because I've been lazy and haven't it, haven't taken it down yet. But I'm gonna play with my Cricut and then see if I can make a banner for like the drapes across the fireplace that says, I kind of want to do winter, but I'm kind of ready for spring. So I might have shown you guys this already, I forget. Um, but I'm pretty sure I, ha I didn't show you guys what the flowers look like. So basically it's all cardstock and it's held together with some DMC. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, like right there. You guys can kind of see like the string in between them. So I did that with, I want to say 502 maybe? Green floss. As you can see it's been rainy again. I think today was the last day of it, so this weekend I should actually be able to get out and start my planting, I'm hoping. I'll show you guys that when it's done. I'm going to put in a couple of raised beds that I need, still need to make. I've been lazy, like I mentioned already. <laughs> and I need to, um, we're going to buy some like half whiskey barrels and put citrus trees in there. So I would love to do an avocado tree as well, but they do get pretty big and I don't know if we have the room in the backyard. But that might be on my list. But we need to trim that big tree right there as well because it's basically taken up like most of the sun in my backyard. But I don't know if I can do that myself. We may have to hire somebody for that. But yeah, so thanks for listening to me ramble. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Monday, the 11th of February. I know it's been a week. Um, I haven't done that much stitching. Um, I'm not really sure where the time went. This weekend I only did one line on um, George Washington. But we went to Santa Barbara on Sunday, so yesterday. And then Saturday, we ended up just doing a lot of housework, um, like some home improvement projects, nothing big. Um, I did have to go down, I wanna say Wednesday, I forget if it was Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, um, to get the new car. So I had to like drive down to the valley and which is it's about 45 minutes away. So I had to go pick up my husband and then we had to go and sign for the car which took a while. And then by the time we got back, I think I was, I don't even know if I stitched that day, honestly. Um, I think I only did like one, if I did anything it was like one strand, um, like one strand of floss on George Washington. So not even a full line. Um, kind of loving my makeup today though. Um, so yeah, I just feel like this whole week just, I think everything between the job and just getting that all situated just ended up t like taking all of my energy. So I'm going to show you where I got to. I did some stitching on another project. It's not a new start. Um, but let me show that to you guys and I can kind of catch up with you and show you where we're at with everything. So I did want to show you guys this really quick. This is something new I bought. So Michaels has the DMC 35 new colors. Um, they have the tin, which I went ahead and got, as well as the floss colors individually. Because I was able to use a coupon on it, this was cheaper than getting the flosses individually because I don't have any of them. Um, I know it looks dented, but I think that's, since it's on both sides, I think that's supposed to be like that. This was, so I'm trying to open it while not making you guys sick. Um, this was, I used a 40% off coupon, and I think, I want to say it was like, it ended up being like, one tea. 
after the coupon. Um, but since the individual colors are, how much are they now? 56 cents? I know that, that doesn't sound right. This ended up being cheaper. I know I did the math. And yeah, I'll try to see if I can find the receipt for it. Yeah, I know you guys have probably all seen this already, but comes nicely, nicely packaged. I really love this th this um C -ish, C C green. I don't know what they actually call it. And then these like fuchsias are cool too. Don't know if I'll use a lot of the rest, but this is kind of a pretty lilac color. It's 26. Doesn't show up true to color on screen, of course. They are much brighter in real life. I guess now that they're in light, that's not too bad. Yeah. Lots of yellows, which I don't think I'll use, but I do like a lot of the neutrals as well. So that is all of those. It does come with the new like floss card type deal, but you know, not natural floss. And it comes with a chart, which I don't think I'll ever use, but yeah, like I said, just got the tin because it was cheaper and that's actually how I'm going to store them until I need to use them. So one of the things I did get to work on that is new, Crafty Lisa got me thinking about this again, but it is my sparkling peacock chatelaine. So what I added was these bright blues right here and these dark blue, which these are both um, Silk Lame, the Petite Treasure Braid Silk Lame flosses. So they do sparkle. You can kind of see the dark ones a little bit right there on the bottom. But, yeah, they do sparkle in real life. And, again, a lot lighter in real life, too. My lighting in the craft room is really awful. So I want to get a new fixture. Or maybe just, I'll see if they ha just have brighter bulbs. Because um, these ones are just very yellow and they're very just not creativity conducive, shall we say. Yeah, I saw Crafty Lisa's video and she got all the stuff for her Chatelaine and it got me wanting to do I mean, I've been thinking about doing this one for a while, but I did this one on Saturday since I didn't have a ton of time and like have a, a set amount of time that I could go and like do a full, a full line on my um, George Washington. Sorry guys, I feel like my brain is shot today. Good news is it's a four-day weekend this weekend, so I only have a four-day week this week. Um, but yeah, so I didn't think I had enough chunk of, like, a solid chunk of time to do that, so I just came in here and started with the dark blue and ended up with the turquoise. Um, I did have a massage Saturday, so that was nice. I kind of want to go back and get another one. <laughs> My husband booked it for me since I was so stressed from all of the work stuff. And he got me a little I love you balloon, which is really sweet. So here is my quote unquote extra project. And then Washington, I got row 121 done last night. So last time you saw it, I think I was like right about there. So I've added an extra four rows, five rows. I think five, because last time I talked to you, I think I just finished the row of pages at one six, which was row 116. So, not terrible progress, I guess. I don't know how long it'll take me to get to row 130, but I guess we'll see. So I'm gonna try to come back more often, hopefully. I'm in my craft room right now because my husband's home. There was an accident on the freeway today. And so he didn't end up going into work. But I'm going to try to come back more often, hopefully this week, and also get more stitching done this week, because 
I am at the point where this week I am handing my students over so I won't really have any grading or anything to do at work which means I won't have any grading to do at home and now that I've gotten over the shock of losing my students I can focus more on like just finishing out their stuff and I won't be like thinking about it and I'll be able to stitch more because my mind will actually be able to be focused on stitching and not on basically just crap and everything else because I'm one of those people that I can't stitch when I have something on my mind and I know that's supposed to be like the total opposite of like why a lot of stitchers stitch but I think it's because I like big projects that it takes a lot more mental capacity so I need to have a clear head when I do it. Plus when I'm stitching and I have a lot on my mind, I just sit there and like constantly replay like my stress over and over in my head. And so that doesn't really help either. So kind of took a little bit of a break from stitching. Didn't even play video games. Like I've only, I've only played the Kingdom Hearts that one day so far. So I kind of just, I've been doing some reading. We went to Barnes & Noble the other day, so I got a bunch of books. Mainly so I can take them to work now, because I'm going to be bored out of my mind when there's no kids at work now. Because instead of grading papers, I'll be sitting on my ass doing nothing. <laughs> so I got some puzzle books and some novels and stuff. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. It is the 12th and it's about 4.35. I am done with all my meetings and everything for the day, so I'm going to start stitching. I did finish a row last night. I will try, sorry I just had a snack. Um, I'm going to try to finish at least one row, possibly two, but I'm kind of feeling like I want to start playing Kingdom Hearts again. So, um, But I can't play it until my husband comes home, so I will at least be able to get one row in he played so he actually started his own game of it last night so now we're kind of double watching some stuff but I stitch while he plays and then I can like we can skip cutscenes if, if it's the second time if the other person's playing so I don't know if I'll come back later on tonight because I usually don't like to be on here when my husband's on here or my husband's in the room um but I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow Hey guys, it is the 13th of February. It's about five, not five, 3.30. Um, I got two rows done last night on George Washington. I think I'm about to do another. Maybe. Apparently my mother-in-law is coming to take us to Valentine's dinner or something tonight, so. I'm either going to stitch or I'm going to play video games and not tell my husband. I asked him if he minded and he said he didn't mind as long as I wasn't playing it when he walked in so he didn't see like a cutscene that he like wasn't ready to see yet. Um, so I might do that. But we'll see. Um, maybe I'll stitch a line and then see what happens. So, yeah, that's kind of all I have for you today. So I'll be working on row 125. Yeah. So I will come back and probably talk to you guys tomorrow. So let me show you where it's at. And there you go. So it's about almost halfway down, I think. Sorry, my cat's playing in the garage again. So almost halfway down, like the full... I have a lot more rolled up on the bottom. Um, I don't know when I will get to 130, but we'll see. I would love to finish that page this, or like that row of pages this month. I very highly doubt that'll happen. Um, for sure in March though. So at work, I'm right in the middle of transitioning my students. Um, and yeah, it should be a good transition, so we'll see what happens. 
I don't, I, was, I said I might come back tomorrow and I still might. It depends on if my husband goes to work or not tomorrow. He might work from home. We don't have any plans for Valentine's Day. Basically, we do a whole lot of nothing except for go out with my mother-in-law apparently as a thing. Um, so I don't know when, or I don't know if I'll come back. I had the idea of maybe we'll just do like an in-home picnic and movie thing. Um, it's pretty cold here. It's like 50. It's in the 50s, which I know isn't com cold compared to a lot of places, but I think it's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow too. So we may just stay home and that's really weird. Looks like the whole screen just got dark and bright again. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if we're going to do anything or not, but if we do, we'll probably just stay home and do nothing. So anyway, I will maybe talk to you guys tomorrow. If not, have a good Valentine's Day, and I will see you on the 15th. Bye. Hey guys, it is February 15th. I have a four-day weekend, and I didn't do any stitching last night. Um, even though it was Valentine's Day, we didn't do anything. Don't pay attention to that. That's old. Um, my husband got me that balloon um, after I told him about my work changes. So that's not a Valentine's thing. That's just a, I still love you. I hope you feel better present, which is cute. Um, we didn't do anything at all yesterday. Um, we're not really big Valentine's people. So I didn't do any stitching because I was playing video games. Um, However, since I do have the entire day today off, I'm going to stitch for it for as long as I can. I'm in a stitching mood today, so hopefully I will get a couple of rows done. I think I am on row... One, two, three, four... One twenty-six, so I'm, I've done half of it, and then I stopped when the thread ended, so I have to go back and finish the row. Um... If I can get to 130 today, that'd be awesome. I don't think it'll happen, but we can see. And I'll try to check back later on today and show you guys where I'm at. So, I don't think we're doing anything this weekend. We had talked about going to Vegas, um, but with me getting the pay cuts, we can't really afford a hotel. Um, I mean, we could, but we don't want to stretch our finances, so. But yeah, so I'm going to try to finish that. I don't think I'm in a video game today, but we'll see. I have fi finished all of, for those of you that play Kingdom Hearts 3, I finished all of Olympus and all of Twilight Town. But I haven't been to any other worlds yet, because I went back and finished out all the lucky emblems and stuff, so. <clears throat> I know I have a couple of of subscribers who who play the game so but yeah um I'll come back later if my husband or if I get this finished before my husband comes home but if not I will see you guys tomorrow hey guys I'm back so it is still the 15th it's about 2 15 and I just got my mail delivered um I went ahead and bought the rest of the threads that I needed for um, the Sparkling Peacock Chatelaine. Um, so I want to show you those. I do have one. So I realized that I had bought some threads, never put them on my list, and so I double bought a couple. And I had done that in the last one. So the Lavender, what was it, Lavender Ice, um, I had actually double bought as well as this one I had caught I had already ordered but I caught it I thought about canceling the order and then I just decided that there's only two of them um, so it's not such a big deal um, and that is the PB 43 so this one I already have and there's two of them um, same color but it's such a pretty green I just went ahead and just told him go ahead and send it I also got the SP68, which is like an avocado. The 
SP64. It's showing up a little bit darker. Well, I guess that one's actually kind of dark. And PB52, which is this really pretty, like, sea green color. Then I also got the Cobar Dinky Dyes, so I only need two of these. Or, not two of this color, but I only need two Dinky Dyes for this pattern. And then I went ahead and I was planning originally on replacing some of the Glorianas with DMC, but I figured I'd just go big. So I went ahead and bought the rest of the Glorianas. So I got the Velvet Night Sky, which is this gorgeous bluish purple, more blue than purple, not really variegated. There's a very, very tiny bit of variegation, but... Elizabeth in green, which has a tiny bit of variation. Sorry, variegation. I don't know if you can see this or not. Spanish moss, which is this greenish yellow. So it's definitely more on the yellow side. Um, but just showing up a lot more green on camera. I'm trying to get my face out of it, get it to focus. And jewel turquoise, which is pretty variegated, and it is a lot more greeny turquoisey. But it does have these like lighter green. Oh, and there's a kitty that just hello. I'm inspecting. Um, I do have one more color, but it was on back order. So I think I got the last one, um, but it's not going to be shipped for another couple of weeks. Um, and then I forgot to tell you guys earlier that I did... I was trying to get in my lap. Um, so I think you guys, I told you guys that I am trying to lose weight, which so far I started off the year at about 175. And I finally got below 170 today. I'm not doing anything. You can see I've got my Slim Fast bottle up there. I'm not going super, super harsh with anything. Um, I'm trying to stick to the Slim Fast shakes that only have one gram of sugar and one carb. Um, and I am trying to cut my carbs. And I'm trying to just basically eat healthier. But... So the ones I'm drinking for these are the Advanced Nutrition. I like the chocolate ones, but... So you can see, like, carbs is... There's six grams of carbs, but five of those are fiber, so only one carb counts. And only 180 calories. So I am trying to do two of those for breakfast and lunch. I don't always, sometimes I'll replace one of those with, if I'm starving, I'll do a uh, Quest Bar, which are pretty healthy, and they're actually good tasting. <coughs> um, yeah, I could lose more weight faster, but I don't want to starve myself, and I don't want to do anything I can't maintain in the long run. So, like, I've got my, like, actual, like, when I'm hungry, I have, like, real snacks. Um, but I'm just trying to limit those, um, and trying to pick stuff that has protein. Like if I'm eating chocolate, I want there to be like nuts or something in there to help with appetite and stuff. Um, yeah, so I started at 175 at the beginning of the year and I finally got below 170. So this morning when I weighed myself, I was at 168. So my goal would be, well, obviously a lot more than that, but I would like to get before Hawaii, which is in the beginning of April, I would like to get below one, or I would like to be in like the 150s it would be great. Um, I was stuck at 170 like for a long time. So the fact that I'm finally below 170 is awesome. Let's see if he's getting less 
to love. I don't know if you can hear him purring or not. Um, but yeah, so I just finished row 127. I'm about to start 128, and I may be back. I'm not sure. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. It's the 16th. It's about 11.15 in the morning. Um, I just started stitching, but my husband's in the shower. We're about to head out and go to the DIY home store near us and to grab some breakfast. Um, I did finish row 130 last night. Um, I just started 131, but I'm not going to be able to, to finish it by the time we have to go, but that's okay. I'll finish it when we get back. I might build my planters today. I might do some gardening. Um, it's actually sunny out for the first time in a long time. Um, so that we're, I'm going to plant a couple of citrus trees and possibly build some planters to make some raised garden beds. So. I realized I have my phone the other way around. I'm looking at the wrong way. Um, so let me show you what... And I actually did a little bit of stitching on Sparkling Peacock Mandala too. So let me show you guys what those look like. I'm trying to juggle two stands here. So bear with me. So um, This is George Washington. So as you can see, I've just started row 131. This is about two pages worth. I basically did nothing but stitch all day yesterday. I did play my video game for like 20 minutes while my cat was in my lap and I couldn't stitch anyway. But it's coming along. I think I'll be able to fit in two more pages before I fill up to the bottom and then I'll have to switch, but we'll see. All right, and let me show you Sparkling Peacock. So at one point last night, it was pretty late and I just couldn't, even think about doing another row on George Washington. I think I ended up doing like four or five rows yesterday. So I went ahead and put in this light blue color, which is sparkly as well. Let's see. It's one of the um, so glamays. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little raspy. There you go. You can kind of see a sparkle right there. Yeah, so that's all I did. I just put in this light blue color. These are all quarter stitches right there. And it is hard. I don't have enough room on this couch to juggle both um, both stands very well. But I do have some stuff I need to clean up. Like, there's a Tower of pillows that I can use or that I can move. So I might keep this one out here. I got all of the threads just in a plastic bag, so this one's actually a little bit easy to maneuver. So I might keep it out. We'll see. I need to do some cleaning today anyway. All right. Hope I didn't make you guys sick. I will see you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It's about two o'clock on Monday. 16th? 15th? Something teenth? Um, it's the last day of our holidays, or like it's our holiday today, but it was a four day weekend. So I spent most of today cleaning. Um, got my craft room done. Hopefully, we're going to clean everything else. So, and I put up the St. Patrick's Day stuff. So, I'm going to go show you guys that, and I'll show you my craft room. So obviously I still need a little organizing up there, but got everything into bins. Those are all my diamond painting stuff. Got my coffee down there. Um, got all my bins, all of my Cricut stuff. Cross stitch is in both of those, as well as all those. Um, that's all cross stitch too, so obviously that needs, I need to figure that out, but. Got my 35 new Flosses done. Um, behind there, so that's my ironing board I made. Behind it is the spice rack that I still need to hang. Um, and those are the bottles for the spice rack to put my fabric dyes in. And I finally got the closet all organized. So it's all just future craft stuff. Like I want to paint those signs. 
and there's a pumpkin that needs carving. That one needs fixed because it broke. So some of it's just minor stuff. That's my old Christmas tree skirt that I do want to make a new one of. Those are all my diamond paintings. So these are the actual canvas part, and then in the bins is all of the um, diamonds and whatnot. I uh, got all my coffee mugs up there, a couple of Harry Potter books, and then I have my table. So I still need to figure out if I'm going to keep those there or if I'm going to move them somewhere else. But there's a few things on here that will need to be figured out later. But And then that has all my diamond painting pens and whatnot in it. So I still need to figure out what I want to do with those. But I feel good. I got a lot done today. So let me show you the fireplace. And there is my St. Patrick's Day fireplace. So pretty much all of that stuff, well most of it, was... I got a couple of signs here and here. We're in a um, basically like a basket thing that we won at a charity auction that we attended last year. I hope we can go to it this year, but this sign is my favorite. And so that's a sign. All the beads and stuff I already had. So if you notice those missing from my craft room, I found a place to put them. This was in there. Oops. Take that off. I think I need to cut it. It's attached. Yeah, so I'm just going to be doing a lot more cleaning and stuff today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, February 19th, and it's about 3.45. Um, I am going to stitch for a while because, and I'm not going to show it to you yet, but I'm about halfway through one, one row. I mean, as far as like going the one way. Um... And then once I finish that row, and then the row after this one, I will officially be a quarter of the way done <laughs> with my project. Well, with the blue of my project. Um, which this blue that I'm using, I calculated it out, is about 60% of the whole thing. So, yeah, still have a long way to go. So that would mean that... Once I finish this row, I will be about 15% done with the entire project, if I calculated that right. So a quarter of 60% would be 15. Yeah. So I'll be 15% done, which is a little depressing now that I think about it, but um, with the entire project. So I'll come back after I have finished that row and show you guys what it looks like. See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Want to say hi, Moki? <laughs> nope. Um, today is the 20th of February. It is about six o'clock in the evening. I was going to say afternoon. Um, I did finish my goal yesterday, but it was kind of late. So, sorry, she's funny. Um, so I didn't get a chance to come on yesterday and show you, but I am partway through row 139, I think. Yeah. So I am officially a quarter of the way done um, with this color. Um, it's later today because I just went and got my hair done. So I got it dyed like a brownish, reddish color and put some layers into it. It's been a while since I've done that. But it turned out really well, I think. I got like five inches cut off the bottom because this was about, it almost reached my ass, not gonna lie. So let me show you guys where I am at. There it is. So like I said, currently doing row 139. 
right there right now. And it's looking pretty good so far. You see the horse looking thing up here in the clouds? I kind of like that one. And I did discover an H in there somewhere. Oh, let's see. Right there. So who knows, by the time I'm done with this, I might have my entire name in there. So I have two H's and a Y. And I think I have a B in there somewhere, so. We're getting there. There's kind of an H. Kind of a Y too, but not as good as the other one. <laughs> but yeah, so I haven't done anything else on Swirling Peacock. We just finished watching last night, if you guys haven't seen it, Umbrella Academy on Netflix. Really good. Kind of addicting. Um, I think we watched the entire series in three days. Got my kitties up here hanging out. You guys don't see Cosmo too often. Oh, the mocha's in it all the time. Oh, mocha. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to stitch some more tonight, hopefully get to row 140, and I will see you guys all. Actually, so I won't see you guys tomorrow. Um, I was going to turn it back to me, but I'm sure you guys enjoy seeing the kitties more. Um, I was going to say I will come back tomorrow, but I won't because we are doing the Disneyland scavenger hunt tomorrow. Um, so basically, as soon as I get home, I will have to do my, like basically just come home, pick up my husband, and then we'll have to head down um, to Disneyland because it's about an hour and a half away, but by the time we get there with traffic, it'll probably be around, I get home at 3.30, we'll probably get there around 7.30, and the scavenger hunt starts at 8, so hopefully we'll have some time to grab dinner before that. And we can hopefully we can get there around seven would be nice. But yeah, so that will go until they basically shut down the park for us. We do the scavenger hunt, and Cosmo's not being too interesting. You can see our Disneyland wall. <laughs> um, and so we get there. Sorry, we get there. We do trivia and we do the scavenger hunt. So they have to close down the park first. And by the time we get done with it, it's usually about... It'd be really interesting to see if she jumps up there, because she knows better. That's catnip up there. Um, we usually end up finishing at 12.30ish. And then, of course, the traffic by then is gone. So by the time we get home, it's usually around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm sure I will tell you guys all about that in two days. I always have a lot of fun doing it. It's one of my favorite things we do during the year. So I'm really excited. Um, oh, and we made t-shirts, but I forgot to show you guys. So I will try to put in a picture that my husband took of the t-shirts that we made um, for our team. It's like a, this year is coding themed. So my husband's really excited about that since that's basically his job. Um, and his, the other co-worker as well, so I hope you guys don't mind this panorama <laughs> of my house. Um, but yeah, so I will tell you guys all about it, and I will see you all in a couple of days. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. It is the 23rd, and it is 10.30 in the morning. I have not even showered yet. <laughs> Um, I just finished my cup of coffee. I know I didn't come to you yesterday. The scavenger hunt went on a lot longer than it should have. Um, I think there was a mistake made and they didn't um, close the park early like they should have and they like they used to. So the hunt was supposed to start at 8. It didn't actually start until 10.30. <laughs> um... So yeah, we didn't get home until about 2 o'clock in the morning. So last night I did some stitching. Um, but yeah, super tired. So I'm going to stitch today, I hope, but I'm also going to do some gardening. 
and I'm going to make this my last clip of the vlog because I did get to row 140 and I finished it. Um, and I'll show you another project that I did some stitching on. Um, so let me show you those. So here is George Washington. Um, I'm about halfway through this page, I think. Or, you know, row of pages. <clears throat> um, I started at 130, no, 120. 127, I think, is what I started on. And it goes through 175, so not quite halfway. But the second project I did was... Aurora. So I worked on her in the car ride to the to the hunt. Took us about two and a half hours to drive down. Um, and basically, so I had done what I did over here where I just had finished the thread. So I basically just finished that color down on the side. So it goes to about here on here and then goes down quite a bit on here so I do want to finish this color this is 3837 um, so I'm gonna put in that color and try to get both of those finished off but I'm still trying to make George my focus so yeah the hunt was super fun this is the first year we actually finished all 10 clues but we did not get the bonus clue and the, like, I, I liked all the changes they made this year. It's just I hope that next year they get all the kinks worked out. So we had a lot of code solving clues. Um, and there wasn't as much running back and forth because there was we got all the clues at once this year instead of one at a time. So since I'm going to post this video t hopefully today or tomorrow, um, if you guys want to hear about, like if you want me to go into detail about all the clues and stuff in, another, in my next vlog, let me know. Other than that, I am going to close off. Thank you all for liking, subscribing, commenting. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.